fitting a humor regulator to the Reximex Myth Light. Part 1 Preparation. Okay, then, folks, I'm back with the Reximex Myth Light. Now, I've ordered a humor regulator for it. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to see how it's shooting. 140 cc uh, air cylinder set to 200 bar. We'll see how many usable shots can get from it, and then we've got a benchmark then that we can improve on. So I'm going to fire the shots down range at the zero range, and uh, we'll see how many shots we get before it starts dropping off. So let's get on with the test. Okay then. Start this again. Didn't record the first shot for some reason. Okay. Still didn't record, let me check the uh, FX crony, something not right. Oh, that's what's, that's what's wrong with it. That's where we need to be. So I've fired two shots already. It should register this time. Shots fourteen fired twelve recorded. So remember, I've got to add two. That's shooting a bit to the left because it's not, there's no wind today. Ten point seven. Last bullet. Ten point. Five. Empty magazine. Ten. It's all going to the same old. Seven. Ten. Point. Seven. Ten. Point. Six. Ten. Point. Six. Ten point six. Ten point six. Ten point three. Ten point six. Ten point four. 
Ten. Point. Three. Ten. Point. Five. Ten. Point. Five. What's twenty-eight gone? Ten. Point. Six. Last bullet. Ten. Point. One. Empty magazine. Ten. Point. Five. Ten. Point. Five. Ten. Point. Six. Ten. Point. Five. Ten. Point. Two. Ten. Point. Five. Ten. Point. One. Ten. Point. Four. Ten. Point. Three. Ten. Point. Three. Ten. Point. Three. Ten. Point. Three. And that's <coughs> three magazines. So the idea is to uh, just open up the transfer port. <coughs> that will make, make the uh, power go right up. But what you do then, you adjust the regulator to bring the power right down. So the efficiency, but less air. So I think three magazines is about okay. Let's see, I'll just check the uh, what we've got with three magazines. So we're averaging ten and a half foot pounds, which is okay. Left ten one, I've ten nine. So it's averaging. 748 feet per second spread of 30 now I don't want it to be much more than 30 so what I'm going to do I'm going to take a picture of that if I can Seven hundred forty. last bullet 740 empty magazine 726 721 740 738 731 733 Seven hundred thirty five, seven hundred thirty five, seven hundred twenty eight, seven hundred twenty six, seven hundred twenty six, seven hundred thirty one. So that's it, I'm out of uh, Paris now. All right. So, that's 56 shots. So 56 shots, that's a spread of 42. So that's an extra 12 feet per second over 30 shots. So, four magazines will get you an average of 10.4 foot pounds. That's a 1.1 foot pound spread. Love 9, 8, I have 10, 9. I fired four magazines with that. So that's the uh, basic benchmark with the 177. Now if this had been a 2.2 you'd expect it to uh, be a bit more efficient. So there's possibility with a 2.2 you get five magazines out of it. 
Shane's shot counts 54, watch your fired 56. Okay. Taking the rifle apart and opening the transfer port. Taking the rifle apart. The DNT Zulus is a great combination. You must unscrew and remove the safety catch. The main stock screw is underneath the magazine holder. If you have the trigger set at an angle, you'll have to loosen it. The stock is now removed. You can now remove the two valve grub screws. If fitted with anti-tamper, you will have to remove it. Instructions in an earlier video. Newer models have screw-in transfer ports. The transfer port is now fully open. From here on, you'll have to tame the power or you'll be in big trouble. Without this, the rifle will achieve between 16 or 20 foot pounds. You should empty the air from the cylinder, loosen the manometer and wait for the air to escape.
There is only one rifle shown, but all the cylinders are about the same size. You may have to put some PTFE tape on the threads of the regulator, but it works in my pretentious and regime and should fit the myth light. The total cost including tax and postage was £93.03. And finally, thanks for all your support during 2025. Hope you all had a great Christmas and I'll see you all in the new year. Keep a look out for the next part of this video in early 2026 where I'll be fitting the humour regulator and tuning the rifle. Happy New Year.